guys and welcome back to another more with Moro's video. Today's video is going to be another party prep video. If you guys have not seen my previous one, I actually uploaded it on my other channel and it was actually a complete accident, but then I just left it. So if you guys have not seen that, I will link that down below. We did a space theme for Nolan's seventh birthday. But for today's video, we are celebrating Fletcher's first birthday. You guys, this was an emotional, emotional birthday because this is going to be our last first birthday and the theme was a hole in one so kind of like a golf theme i hope you guys enjoy it i hope it gives you guys many ideas and thank you so much for watching all right guys so i am starting out with fletcher's balloon garland first i always start out with this first because it's very easy to make really it truly is it's just so time consuming so i want to go ahead and make it his birthday is actually in two days so i'm going to go ahead and make it because there's so many other food preps and decorating that i need to do so we're about to get this done but i wanted to show you guys first everything you need even though you probably have already seen if you have seen my party prep videos you already know what you're going to need but depending on the theme will obviously depend on the type of balloon and what color there's different kind of balloons there's like metallic ones ones with confetti for Fletcher's, I'm keeping it pretty simple because it's golf theme. I mean, there's really not too much I can do with like the color schemes and things like that. So I have light blue and dark blue balloons and then clear balloons. And then this is kind of like a shimmery metallic almost, but light green and then white. And then of course you're gonna need your electric balloon pump. This is vital unless you guys wanna blow all the balloons up yourself by mouth. Don't recommend that. I tried that one time while pregnant because I didn't have one of these. I actually had a pump, so that was even worse because I was pregnant and trying to use the arm strength that I did not have to blow up a whole bunch of balloons. So definitely recommend getting one of these. I think they're like $15, $20 on Amazon. I've used it so much. Um, I even have friends that come and borrow it and use it for balloon garlands because it's just amazing. So I definitely recommend getting that. And then of course your balloon tape. And then we'll get into like how to secure it and everything. But I actually already have this one set up i always tape it to something that way it just stays in place and i can work down as i go there's no really particular way to do it of course if you want to get extravagant and do like different patterns then you're on your own because i don't do that i just kind of just do different colors obviously i alternate different colors but i mean it's pretty self-explanatory you just add the balloons in the holes the ends of it pull it all the way through so I'm gonna get working because I have this whole balloon tape to fill. It's even rolled up over there. This is how many balloon garlands I've done. I have a whole Ziploc bag dedicated to all the leftover stuff. I told you guys, I save everything. Save all your party supplies, trust me. It will come in handy for future parties. So I feel like at this point, you guys already know how to make a balloon garland because every time I throw a party and I do these party prep videos, I always, always make a balloon garland. I love it. I feel like it just makes like the party a little extra and it's pretty inexpensive, pretty easy to make. But like I've said before in plenty of times, it just takes forever. But that's why you have some help. So I have Frank blowing up balloons and this actually makes it go by so much more faster. You would be surprised how many balloons you can blow up in like 20 minutes. You can make a lot. also helps to have kids to help chip in and help with the balloon garland so not only were the kids playing with the balloons while I was adding them but also Nolan wanted to hand me every single color that I needed which was really nice and I've told you guys before I don't really have a <laughs> I had to get that footage by the way of Scarlett and Harlow the whole time I was editing you can see them just playing and just being their typical self in the back um, but I don't have any kind of pattern I just kind of like notice which ones I need next or which one I haven't used in a while and I don't think I've ever told you guys how long it usually takes to make them I want to say an hour tops from like blowing up the balloons to adding them to the tape I guess it also depends on how long you want your balloon garland as well if you just want it like half of the wall or you know how you want to position it me I always like to go big or go home so I just did the whole tape or the balloon tape for my balloon garland I also wanted to mention that you don't have to stick to this balloon size as well if you want to get really creative and fun with it you could use smaller balloons or I've seen people do a mixture of really small ones and then really big ones as well I would love to get to a point where I can do like a balloon arch like um 
I've seen like people take pictures with them. I don't know if you guys know what I'm talking about or not, but I'm still practicing and I gotta learn how to do different patterns as well. Everybody always tells me anytime they come to the parties at Brittany, <laughs> I feel like Fletcher's always in the back of my voiceovers. They're like, Brittany, you need to do this for real, like for other people. So I told them I need a little bit more comfortable and learn how to do different things and then maybe I will do it in the future, we'll see. So one thing that I wanted to attempt for Fletcher's birthday is making my own cake pops. Now this was a little challenging and I've done them before, so it can be, it can seem a little intimidating, but I'm gonna tell you guys a very easy way to go about doing it. So first you are going to grab your cake mix. It doesn't matter what kind, I'm using Pillsbury Funfetti. You're gonna cook it just like a cake, follow the, the ingredients on the box and everything. And then when it's done cooking, you're just gonna crumble it up so finely. And I feel like there might be an easier way to do this, maybe like a food processor. I just use my hands, just make sure your hands are very, very clean. And then you're gonna add one third a cup of icing. Of course, you can use any kind that you want. I'm putting some more fun buddy, fun Betty sprinkles in there with the icing. And then you're just going to mix that all together. And it's gonna have like a dough-like consistency, so you will be able to roll it into the ball. That's where the cake pop part comes. And then it will be that perfect consistency where it stays together as well. You just wanna make sure you mix it very, very well all together. You guys will see here in a second what it's supposed to look like. And then at that point, that's when you can start rolling them into balls. And what I ended up doing, cause I made these a couple of days before the party, is I just put them on a baking sheet and put it in the fridge until I was ready to put the chocolate and the sprinkles on it, which will be here in a second. I'll show you guys how I go about doing that. All right, so we are now T minus one day until Fletcher's birthday. I forgot to tell you guys and show you guys how we ended up securing this. I can't really show you guys now, but we have two screws up there. Now, obviously you don't have to do that. That's a little extreme, but just so we know that our balloon arch stays up there, we have two screws up there. You could try command hooks or like the little hooks, the clear hooks. Um, I'd probably go with something larger that can hold more weight because after you get all of these balloons on here, it can be pretty heavy. So we have that secured with just uh, like balloon ribbon and like you just tie it around the balloon tape and then tie it and just kind of hook it onto the screw and that's how we have it secured. So all of this stuff over here is birthday stuff. So I printed off the Titleist logo and we're just gonna cut that out and put it onto these little white lanterns. I'm gonna show you guys more as we go. I had to get a little hat for him so he'll wear that tomorrow, we'll get some pictures. And I also went grocery shopping today. So on the menu for that, we're gonna have like a veggie, fruit, meat and cheese charcuterie board. We're gonna have corn dip, we're gonna have sausage dip, we're gonna have like little finger foods. I'm also gonna make ham and cheese sliders. I'm telling you guys, these are the best ham and cheese sliders ever. I will definitely give you guys a recipe for that. Um, some mac and cheese, and I think that's it. I feel like I need one more thing. I just don't know what yet. We still have till tomorrow. We can go to the store really quick. Oh, and I'm gonna be making some punch for the kids, some green punch, of course, to go with the theme. And then I have all the rolls over here for the sliders. Frank's celebrating with his green shirt and his green beer. <laughs> I'm gonna be making some cake pops later tonight. I'm thinking I might go ahead and start food prepping tonight. So going ahead and prepping my veggies and fruit and putting them in containers. That way in the morning, when I'm starting to get everything together, I can just go ahead and put them on the board and call it a day. So I might start doing that and we're gonna have like some different kind of spreads like fruit dip. I think I got like a caramel dip and then um, hummus, and then I'm trying to think, Wait, this is for the sliders, got lots of fruits and veggies, and then here's the meat and cheese in there. All right, so it is the day or the evening before Fletcher's birthday, I'm getting some party prep or food prep ready, and I've shared this recipe so many times, this corn dip recipe, it is so good. It's actually called award-winning crack dip, that's what it's really called. I printed it off, and actually I found the exact recipe, but this has been a recipe in my family for years, so, you are going to need two cans, and we're also, I'm also doing this during dinner, so if you guys hear the kids are chewing, that's that's what that is. I'm not gonna double this recipe, I because I doubled it last time, and it was just way too much dip. So you're gonna need two cans of whole kernel corn. Actually, this recipe calls for Mexi corn, which I think has like peppers and chilies in it, but I just like to use whole kernel. Some diced jalapenos, I just got the jar kind. And then one can of diced green chilies. Stop. 
Frank doesn't like this recipe. Just because you're a picky eater. I promise you guys it is so good. Every time I make it, everybody loves it. I'll show your white paw on camera. What are you doing? Oh no, I am to get through this party prep, I am having a white claw. And it's I not used to a white paw anymore. It's a white paw. You're gonna need some green onions or scallions, whatever you call them, some sour cream, a cup, and I'll leave all the exact measurements, everything down below. Sour cream, fiesta blend, any kind of cheese, shredded cheddar cheese, and then mayo. And that's everything that you're gonna need. Drop that on me. Oh. I was just about to say, Frank hates mayonnaise. Like, seriously, hates mayonnaise. And as I was doing that part, I was like joking around and I was like trying to put the mayonnaise in my mouth. Actually, I did a pr remember the prank I did with you with the pudding? Wait, what? I did. As soon as I was trying to show that, the spoon came out. Why do you want mayonnaise? Show him, show him down there. It came out and my foot was right there. My foot. Y'all might be like, why is Frank such a baby? You when it comes to, it. I like, I despise that hey, stuff right there. Actually, despise it. A lot of people actually hate Manny, so. Like, I, I could throw up if that landed on me. And that's what why. What if it went in your mouth? Brittany. Uh -oh. That's what she said. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well it's all good now. I also want to mention really quickly, I forgot to tell you guys how to serve these or what to serve them with. So the recipe calls for tortilla chips, so maybe like the scoops tortilla chips or Tostitos, but I'm gonna tell you guys, so much better, so much better with Fritos. If you can get your hands on the Fritos scoops, I promise you guys that that tastes so good with this corn dip. All right guys, so I laid out all the decorations for Fletcher's birthday on the table. I'm gonna do a quick little haul for you guys. So of course we have our cups and napkins and plates. Plates are right there. These ones look like little golf balls. And then the, like the knives and the spoon and forks are right there. And then over here we have like little photo booth prop thing, like pictures like to hold up. I don't see, there's no picture. You guys will have to stay tuned to see those, but like you can hold them up and take pictures. And then some crinkle paper, since it looks like grass, I'm gonna do some stuff with that. We have Fletcher's cake topper. This is from Etsy, some one balloons here. Little, um, little cupcake picks to put on top of the cupcakes. Some little golf cart toys for decoration. We got the table cover, looks like grass, but I also got a artificial grass runner as well. And then I was showing you guys these earlier, the white lanterns right here. I'm gonna put the Titleist sign on those. I'm not, I don't know where I'm gonna hang those yet, so we're still figuring that out. And then we have some golf ball balloons that we're gonna blow up. And then this is actually a banner that I'm gonna put his pictures. I have them right here, which I can't even look at those because it makes me so sad. But that's gonna be hanging on the fireplace, I think. I think that's where I'm gonna put it and put all his pictures there. This is a high chair banner and then a happy birthday sign. We have some more pics for like food related stuff and then I'm not sure really what I'm gonna do. I feel like I had an idea but I can't think of it right now. But those are golf tees, little flags, some balloons. This is gonna spell, I think, whole N. And then this is the one to go underneath it. These are little cupcake wrappers. It says party time. Um, got some more grass right here. I'll show you guys how I end up doing everything. I have it like in my mind. It's just I haven't been able to show you guys yet. Um, but we got some more artificial grass here. And then a little golf bat or for the golf ball baskets right here. That's going to be also for part of the decorations. This is like a little one. It says one. It has like a it's like box. I don't know how to explain it. You guys will see that too. Um, so I have to put that together. I got the stuff for the cake pops. So plenty of sprinkles. The sticks little cupcake liners and then I showed you guys this little hat and then I got a master's tournament flag to I think we're gonna hang it on our flagpole out front some plastic golf balls and then we have balloon waves and I think this is part of the whole in part so I'll put that there 
are balloons and then this is popcorn boxes but i'm going to use these as little party favors so that is everything oh and i have fairy lights i don't know if i'm going to do anything yet with those so we'll see but i have everything laid out and we're going to start decorating here soon you guys have seen the balloon garland let me show you guys i have all the party favors over here so let me show you guys those really quick so i got some green sunglasses i must have accidentally ordered two of these coloring packs which is okay because these are these come in handy if you're at a restaurant or you know places like that you can bring I throw them sometimes in my bag to keep the kids occupied because sometimes a lot of restaurants nowadays they don't even have at least the ones that we've been to because of COVID they don't have coloring stuff or crayons and so I'll bring some of those with us some little emoji golf balls I thought these were so cute and then bubbles got those and then little fidget spinners because the kids are all about fidget toys and this kind of stuff I feel like I had gotten like a treat or something to go in them and now I don't know what I had plans for so I don't know but that's what we have so far and then this is actually a little golf set that we got for the kids to play outside we're gonna have like a huge Jenga I think that's how you say it a huge Jenga tower to play um, we have our friends that are gonna bring connect four and then what else is there, are they bringing was that it just the connect four like the large connect four just so we can do some activities outside so that's what we have so far So what I've learned is to definitely prep as much food as you can the night before the party or the day before that way the day of because you're running around you're doing all the finishing touches everything you know you're gonna want to save a little bit of time so definitely suggest doing that that's what I did for my veggie and fruit platter I went ahead and cut up some vegetables and then I'm also getting all the gift baskets or the goodie baskets together as well trying to get as much done that's usually what I try to do the night before or the day before I try to get as much done as I can and I do have to say Aria is like my little sidekick she always loves to be involved sometimes a little too involved like she thinks she can decorate everything but she honestly helps me out so so much so she put all of the party favors together all the fidget toys and the bubbles and coloring stuff she oh and we put some of that crinkle paper in the bottom as well to make it look like grass so she did a fantastic job doing that also my friend Danny shout out to Danny she came over the night before as well and helped me set up the party so we moved the table around set up the backdrop you guys know like my go-to backdrop is using back I said that's so weird <laughs> my go-to backdrop is using like these tensile fringe curtains I don't know what else to call them but I love them because they come in so many different colors and they go so well with birthdays I was actually thinking about getting a whole artificial like gra glass I cannot talk tonight grass backdrop but believe it or not fake grass can be pretty pricey and the size that I needed would it be worth it just you know for one birthday or for you know one day for Fletcher's birthday because then I would have no idea what to do with it afterwards so maybe in the future I don't know we'll see so I just went with the curtains and the backdrop and um, the kids helped me out so much that night as well with putting all like the little finishing touches together I actually thought this basket was gonna be bigger than it was and the kids also helped out a ton with the cake pops so a little secret is to melt a little bit of chocolate stick your cake pop stick in the melted chocolate and then stick it into your cake and then put it in the fridge or the freezer for a little bit this will help it stick in there that way when you go to dip it all the way into the chocolate it doesn't fall right off from the heat of the melted chocolate if that that makes sense and I suggest definitely using a cup we tried the Wilton chocolate you guys I 10 out of 10 do not recommend do not try Wilton chocolate I don't know what I was doing wrong but I just got this white chocolate from the store I think it was Ghirardelli's melted chocolate and it melted amazingly in the microwave and then I just put some sprinkles all over it after it was done another little trick you can do is like after you dip in the chocolate just lightly tap the the side of the mug and that will get rid of the extra chocolate as well so those actually turned out really good I was impressed because I think I've only made cake pops one other time and I think it was for like Aria's birthday but now after making it for Fletcher's birthday I definitely feel a little bit more confident making them um, but now I'm just working on some more of the finish finishing touches for Fletcher's birthday this was actually the morning of so all I did was I put up the little tight list or am I saying that right tight list 
I hope I'm saying that right, the lanterns, got the banner ready, got the rest of the backdrop ready, finished setting up the table. A lot of the time was actually dedicated to making the food. So you guys will see that here in a second because I'm gonna sh show you a couple more recipes. Usually I will buy food, so I'll get food places. I've gotten it from like Publix before, like food platters or Chick-fil-A, but this time I decided to make it all on my own. So we had mac and cheese, sliders, the fruit veggie, and uh, cheese and meat platter, and then we had so many different dips as well. So we definitely had a variety of food and so much yumminess. So I'll be sure to leave all those recipes down below because I know you guys are gonna want them. And then we changed our mind and decided to put, since we were putting all the like the kids activities in the backyard, we decided to just zip tie the flag um, in the back of the yard on our fence. Another thing that I decided to try for the first time was this crock pot mac and cheese recipe. I have never tried this before and honestly I was a little nervous to make it because I don't think I've ever tried mac and cheese in a crock pot before. Um, but everybody loved it and especially the kids so this is definitely perfect to serve for kids at a party. You know you just keep it in the crock pot, keep it on warm and I usually just have everybody self serve so kind of just like walk around and snack on foods and go ahead and get their food. But this was also a really simple recipe as well. Not too many ingredients. So like I said previously, I will definitely leave all the recipes down below for you guys. But everybody loved it. It was definitely a hit and I would definitely make it again. And then here's his outfit for the day. So stinking cute. And I think, I have I showed you guys the hat yet? Birthday boy is tired. He is so tired. Here's his little hat too. Look at that. So these ham and cheese sliders were also a big hit as well. I've made these previously for kids' or the kids' birthdays before, and everybody always loves them. Um, so I did two with the mayo mixture and like the onion mustard butter. I know that sounds so weird, but I'm telling you guys, just trust me. It is so good. On top of it, it's like minced onions and poppy seeds. Um, but I did two like loaves or I guess there's 12 of them with the mayo and the sauce and then I did one without because I know sometimes the kids don't like it you guys already know from watching this video Frank does not like mayo so I had to leave one without mayo and he loved those and then everybody else really liked the other ones so definitely recommend making those for parties and the cake pops turned out so good you guys I was very shocked and shocked myself that they turned out this good I was not expecting that just because I know it's like one of those things that is like it's a hit or miss and it can be kind of tedious but like I said very proud of myself just don't recommend doing Wilton I had actually gotten a green colored chocolate melting chocolate and it was terrible. I even tried doing it with like boiling water with like a bowl on top and it didn't melt at all. I don't know, maybe if you guys have had better luck with that brand or not. Um, and then for the punch, it is just pineapple juice, Sprite, and green Hawaiian punch. That is everything that I put in there. I love using these drink dispensers for every single birthday. It's also great for lemonade or sweet tea, or if you wanna put some water and some lemon in there, I definitely recommend, and they're pretty inexpensive as well. But this is how everything turned out for Fletcher's birthday. I think I was even shocked with how everything turns out, because I always 
just have it in my mind and then I'll get this and I'll get that and I'm like okay one of this doesn't end up looking good as I put everything together but um, everything turned out really really cute and I actually had a hard time with this theme because a lot of golf themes or decorations are like for like older people so I'm gonna give myself a little pat on the back and use a little creativity to be able to decorate everything for his whole in one birthday party everybody loves everything as well and it just turned overall turned out really really great so I hope that you guys enjoyed this party prep video if you did please give it a thumbs up I love doing these videos because I know not only you guys like to see how I decorate but also to share and give you guys ideas as well even if it's not the same theme maybe I can give you some parting tips or how to decorate or different recipes you guys will definitely let me know if you guys enjoy these you guys also know that we have five kids so definitely more birthdays in the future I feel like I have so many themes I can never run out of themes because I have so many that I would love to do anyways I love you guys thank you so much for watching and I will see you in our next video bye guys